last time on the Dan Classic Show. What do you mean they won't send me alcohol or cigarettes? Well, what do you expect me to do? That sounds made up. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Ship them. Ship them all. <laughs> hey, hey, Dan Classic. How's about lighting one up with your old pal Yogi? Man, I don't know, Yogi. Stop being such a bitch, boy. And a smoke up. The next episode. Never hear from the radio. Never hear from the TV show. And if all this is on earth, never have broken no pain. This is a fucking music we're playing. As long as we are here. And if all it is is on earth Playing pop rock, it is our game Make the readers bleed all the same Pass me another beer Dummy! Dummy! Hey, dummy! Wake up! Oh. Oh. Hey, how long was I out for? A couple of days, dummy. Did you say Gumby? I said dummy, dummy. Gumby? Dummy. Well, I'm glad you mentioned it, because today, we're reviewing Gumby. Well, I didn't say that. In 1956, NBC debuted an animated phenomenon that would explode in popularity and influence that to this day can be seen in popular media. That animated phenomenon is Gumby, created by Art Clokey. The show would air for seven long years before any toys were released. Clokey's reasoning for waiting so long was that he and his wife at the time, Ruth, had created the show in the hopes of improving children's television and didn't want parents to think that Cloakey had created Gumby as a marketing ploy to part viewers with their money. <coughs> Hasbro. <coughs> Mattel. So many parents wrote in asking for a Gumby figure for their kids to play with, Cloakey finally relented in late 1963, releasing the very first Gumby figure. Designed by Cloakey and released by the Gumby Toy Company, the first Gumby figures were sold in the Los Angeles area and were so popular that the small company couldn't keep up with the demand. Now this is important, so listen up. And when researching, I noticed that this part gets glossed over. But what I found is Gumby is the very first Bendy toy. Well, what the hell is a Bendy? What's commonly called by collectors as Bendy's or bendable toys are generally made of one piece of flexible rubber or plastic with a metal wire inside so that when you move the figure, it holds its pose. In my research, I have found no evidence of any other Bendy figures that exist before Gumby. The original Gumby figure was designed by Art Clokey and based on his models that he used to make the Gumby films in the 1950s. And while I can't prove it, I believe that Art Clokey invented the Bendy figure. Oh, big deal. How important are Bendy figures in the grand scheme of things anyway? Oh, they're a big deal, all right. Almost every popular license that ever had a toy line had Bendy figures. From cartoon stars like Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny, and Yogi Bear, Being such a bitch boy, and a smoke up, to superheroes, and Star Trek, and Star Wars, and all kinds of other stuff. Yeah, bendies are super important. 
Oh, so this is the part where you cut open one of those gummies and we get to see what they look like inside. Ha ha ha! Well, I can't wait. As tempting as that may be, I'm not cutting open any gumbies, Jess. Ah, why not? Well, I actually like gumby. Burr. I know, I know, it's weird for me too. In 1964, the Gumby Toy Company released the very first Gumby figure, and the demand was too much for the little company to keep up with. Even seven years after the character first showed up on TV, Gumby was as popular as ever. Lakeside Toys, original makers of the Barrel of Monkeys, reached out to Cloakey and worked out a deal to manufacture and sell Gumby figures, and that's what we're looking at first. The first Lakeside figures are identical to the Gumby Toy Company figures with the exception that the Lakeside figures are marked on the backside. You'll notice that Gumby looks a little different than he does today. His signature head bump is taller and sweeps out to the right. The whites of his eyes are painted halfway down for some reason. The best way to tell a lakeside Gumby from the later Jesco figures based on the same mold is that Gumby's eyes are looking off to the left. Gumby's eyes are still set this way with a few exceptions, but let's not get ahead of ourselves and take a look at my lakeside Gumby collection. All right, so let's start with the first one. Um, this is Gumby by Lakeside, 1965. Um, this one is in terrible, terrible shape. I don't particularly mind it um, because it really illustrates how, and I, it's hard to explain the difference between the modern ones. This is made out of rubber. This isn't made out of plastic. It's a very rubbery, squishy, like almost stretchy, you can twist it, um, type of material that the other ones really aren't made out of nowadays. And it really, really illustrates that because over time, they really started changing the materials that they were making these with. How, how nice do you expect them to look? Okay, so this one's a little nicer. Um, it's a little bit later on, still very rubbery. Um, you can tell on the back, it has uh, the Gumby embossed. Um, it's actually 3D on the first one over here. It's actually embossed into it. It's coming out of it on this one. They do change, but they're all made by Lakeside. Um, so, I mean, there's the same. This one seems a little wider. This one seems a little thinner. They change a little bit. The paint applications change over time. And you'll see that. Such as with this one, look at this guy. Um, yeah, he looks a little bit better. We actually have almost a full uh, paint application left on the face. He's still very rubbery. Um, he's still got his uh, flexibility. The metal is still in there. A little bit of the metal as when this first one, nothing. It's gone. It's friggin' gone, dude. Like you can feel it a little bit in the chest knocking around in there. But yeah, like I don't know what happened to it. Somebody slid it out or something like that. Yeah, you can't pose this thing anymore. Finally, we have this one. This is actually the second to last one. Um, it's, he's got this mold on the back of his legs um, and the back looks a little bit different. It's, you know, Gumby, manufactured for Lakeside Industries Inc. made in Hong Kong. Um, he's made out of a little bit harder rubber still rubbery but not not as soft and i don't know if that is a byproduct of time or material um his still the same color still basically the same paint application you see the eyes are painted halfway down right there and yeah there's there's that one and then finally here's this one um this is the best looking one We've got so far, it has kind of the same uh, back like on the one that we just saw um, with the, you know, made in Hong Kong. And the, it's still kind of rubbery, but harder, more stiff. And um, yeah, his arm doesn't really do anything anymore. So obviously the metal part's broken right there. Um, this one, still pretty flexible. Legs still pretty good. Um, but that's pretty much what these look like. All right, and here is Gumby's pal Pokey. 
Um, this was the one that was described um, as having the coronavirus, as uh, Raz Hawley said that. So take all your complaints to him. Um, it was his comment that he made. Um, I wouldn't say that. I like this old figure. Um, yeah, he's a little beat up. Yeah, you can see the metal um, pieces coming out of the shoulder there. Uh, same on that side. Um, he, you can tell he's got a darker color than the modern ones do. Um, and that rubbery, that real soft rubbery texture that you just don't get these days. It's a little bit more matte. It seems almost porous uh, or squishy. Um, yeah, they don't make them like they used to, obviously. Moving on, this one I think is from the same era abouts, um, maybe a little bit later, but still made out of the same material. It's certainly in better shape, but it's got that same, you know, almost, you know, burnt orange or brick red sort of color to him. On the bottom, it says Lakeside Industries, Inc., 1965. This is older than most people watching the video. Um, that's pretty cool, I think. I like the idea of, of collecting things that are so old. And, and still, and this is in really great shape considering how old it is. And I know, like I said before, that like nowadays he's kind of an orange color, but it looks like they got orange throughout the Lakeside era too, because this one's a little newer. Um, still has the same stamp on the bottom, because I think they're just still using the same mold. Um, but yeah, he's a little bit brighter, um, still a little, still rubbery. This is definitely in the best shape as far as I'm, I, I've got, you know, as pokies are concerned. Um, and I do have one that's a little bit brighter. Um, he's, he's, he's like bright, bright orange. Like I, I don't like neon orange, but still on the bottom has that lakeside has that Lakeside uh, Industries Inc. made in Hong Kong, um, 1965, right there. So, from 1965 to 1973, Lakeside would produce Gumby figures. When considering the average life of a toy at this particular time, it's crazy to think something so simple would endure for so long. Part of that endurance came in a diversification of products. Aside from Gumby, Pokey, and Gumbitties, there were a ton of accessories. You could dress Gumby up in a number of costumes made to fit the figure and have adventures with Gumby just like on the TV show. Alright, so here's the Gumby accessories. Uh, just like I said, <laughs> I've only got a few of them. I don't have them all. I do have the, uh, the cowboy here, the knight, the fireman, and the uh, astronaut. Uh, adventure costumes. Um, I do not have the police officer or the doctor. I don't know if it's a doctor or a soldier. I've looked at a lot of the pictures and stuff. I'm assuming it's a doctor. I don't know. Um, it might be a soldier. Who who cares? It doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got here. Um, so let's take a look at the packaging here on the, uh, the firefighter. Um, Fireman adventure costume, a hat, a fire extinguisher, flashlight, ladder, belt, all that good stuff. Um, pretty cool. Um, this one comes with an axe, comes with a fire extinguisher, and look at all the shit it comes with. It comes with a hat. All this stuff is made to fit the Gumby figures, so it's it's pretty cool. Like all the stuff that it comes with. This one comes with a sword and a shield and a belt and a flag and a helmet, like. Dude, this guitar, which we're about to look at here in a minute, has real strings on it. Real strings! Like, yeah. raw cardboard on the back. But yeah, let's take a look and see what these look like on the inside. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dan, these are from 1965. They've lasted for years and years, even before you were born, and no one has opened them yet. Could you just leave well enough alone? Maybe buy some online that are already loose? Well, why the hell would I do that? I don't want to touch some dirty shit that some other, you know, person has been has been messing with over the years. I want fresh stuff. I want fresh stuff out of the box, and the only way to get it is to open this up. There it is. Oh, look at that. Free at last. All those years. 
all those, all those years, and now it's open, and that's it. Goodbye, packaging. Let's get the fire one open, too. Well, yee fucking haw! There he is. He's Gumpy with accessories. Because it has a ladder. There's a, these these hats. You see the, the the cowboy hat. It fits right on there. But a lot of these accessories, if you ever find these old Gumbies and they have like little pinholes in them, it's because these have basically like you are to impale your figure um, with these things. And this is my best Gumby. And oh, as far as the Lakeside ones are concerned. And yeah, I made a little hole in his hand for the gun because it is pretty sweet that it comes with a little pistol. Um, but yeah, uh, um, these you know fit on pretty cool, the little holsters. Um, yeah, Cowboy Gumby, that's pretty sick. Um, but yeah, and check it out, like I said before, this guitar, real strings. Real strings. They didn't need to put real strings on it, um, but they did. And you know, it's made out of like, yeah, fairly light little plastic, but super cool. I mean, just imagine the detail. And these things didn't cost hardly anything back in the day. These were such a good deal. And yeah, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with it. I like this stuff a lot. I'm, I'm glad I opened it up. You know what? And, and kiss my ass if you don't fucking like it. Bang, 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 die, bang, 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 bang. bang. Oh no, look out! Hey, check it out, here it is, it's the Gumby Jeep! Um, yeah, it's made out of metal, um, it's from, it was made in Japan, uh, <laughs> and it has the Lakeside Toys logo, manufactured by Lakeside Toys, made in Japan, um, logo on the bottom. They also made one later on that was made out of plastic. These were the ones where you can actually see them, they've used them on the show. Um, you can see Prickle and, and uh, Pokey riding around in these um, on, in, in the show. Also Gumby riding around in these. Um, these were used um, as props, as a lot of toys were uh, on that show. But yeah, this is pretty cool because it's, it's like it's a toy, but it's also kind of like a, you know, a, a, a prop too for the show. So it's like, it's cool thing about Gumby is that these are things that you can actually hold in your hand. They're real. It's real shit. Um, and, and that's part of why I like it, and it's just super cool to have something, again, that's so old. Um, and there it is, Gumby's Jeep. It's, you know, it's a Jeep. And, and I don't know if they necessarily got the, you know, the, the, the permission from, you know, the people that make fucking Jeeps. Um, maybe they pull the Lennard and they're just like, hey, screw it. We're gonna just take this, take the stick and name. Mine's obviously got some rust damage here, but you know, again, this is from 1965, 66, somewhere, somewhere in that, in that, uh, in that era. You know, shit's not gonna look great years and years later. Somebody played with this. Somebody liked this. This was somebody's toy. Um, somebody had, you know, a lot of adventures with this Jeep. Are and yeah, it's pretty fucking disgusting with the rust, but. It still got its steering wheel. Um, it did have a piece of um, maybe glass in there. I don't know if plexiglass had really become a thing that was you know they were using with toys yet. Um, and that's the little the windshield. It's pretty cool. All right, well that's it for this episode. Ah, uh, and thank God it's over. Now we can get back to cursing and breaking stuff and doing things. Not so fast, Jess. But we still have the 80s, 90s, and today's Gumby stuff, Jess. Since when are you so nice about everything? What is, what is this, a Raz Holly video? Settle down, settle down. The reason I'm a little less aggro today is because I actually like Gumby. Here's the thing, I have very little gripe with Gumby as a whole. Sure, he's been merchandised to death, and the modern figures are way overpriced for a simple toy that has barely changed since the early fucking 80s. But on the positive side, Gumby is a character that has endured for over 60 years. Generations of kids grew up with Gumby's adventures, and for the most part, the toys have been good. Well, as good as they can be. 
And that's all I can ask of any figure. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna beat the shit out of the 80s figures. Raz Holly, hit the music! Shut up, dude.